bastards. Yes, yes, you're going the right way. It's cafe adventure down the bottom of the hill. Cheers, mate. Morning, folks. How you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to another video on my channel. Hopefully you watched the last one. I'm here in the Hope Valley. I'm at the top of Jacob's Ladder, which is uh, in itself the bottom of Kinder Scout. Didn't quite make it to the top last night, but the light was fading and I needed to get somewhere to pitch down. And I think there's actually people up there already. Can't be sure. I suppose I better try and sink my walk onto Strava. Just one tip. Don't do it when you get to your wild camping spot because everybody knows the night before where you are. Not a good idea. As you can see, I uh, put my tent up inside out. <laughs> there wasn't much light left in the day and I was, I was kind of rushing a little bit. That's Kinder Scout over there. It's at the very top, hiding away in the low cloud, which is a shame, isn't it? Well, that's the, the view back towards Edale. And right in the middle of all that is Mam Nick. So it's about quarter to seven at the moment. Time for breakfast, I think. I'll just show you an example of people not respecting the countryside and you can see it could be as a result of a wild camp but I think more likely this is a, a mess from a day tripper look at this banana drink bread sticks and uh, an orange juice why didn't they take the rubbish away from them there's no bins up here in the middle of the countryside these people have got no respect so probably gonna have to try and find somewhere to pop that in my bag and carry it down on the mountain because I'm not leaving it up here So it's been a long walk yesterday, 36 kilometers it was in the end. So just shy of 23 miles. But my feet are aching underneath, I sold my feet. Oh, I'm gonna have to be checking them out before I leave. I brought some plasters with me, see if I've got any blisters that have uh, appeared. In the last video, I wanted to show you the rucksack I bought for this trip and subsequent trips. It's by a company called Technicals. I actually researched the rucksack online on YouTube and I believe the company used to be called High Gear. So I don't know, there's not much I can show you, I can't really stand it up in a tent, but this is it. It's the Tibet 55 Plus. Well you've got this top area opens both sides really. That had my food in it in the inside. So you can put things on in there as well. Because that's the main compartment, that's where everything went. And it's huge inside there. Got pockets on the side, which can be uh, because there's, there's uh, straps everywhere on this. That would be water bottles, or one water bottle there, and one bottle the other side. Tent pegs was either that side or, or the other side. Nice compartment in the front. There's a compartment underneath as well for bits and bobs, and it actually includes the rain cover in the price as well. It's uh, so on the bottom. It's actually got straps here as well, so you can actually put something underneath, like a uh, mat kind, like a, a yoga mat or something. Those going on. Got lots of fixture points, so you can attach things on there. My Wahoo mount to put my uh, <laughs> a cycling GPS computer. I think ideally, uh, I need to bring it around the front onto strap so it's somewhere close to where I'm facing uh, because obviously if I wanted to get directions I just keep taking the rucksack off it was easy to reach behind and take it out but it was nigh on impossible to put it back on again so that's the technicals Tibet 55 litre perfectly fine for me uh, and a one day uh, for what I'm gonna be doing it's 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 fine 14 degrees overnight there's a few things that I need to brought uh, maybe this was one of them, but it's always nice to have something kind of on your head. And if it had did dip in the night time, because it was close skies, I would have needed to keep my head warm. It's one of the most important things that I think you should be wearing when you camp out. And a down jacket from the out kit. Didn't need that at all. Look at that for a morning view. So I've got the uh, gas stove on the go. Got warm water. Got my new table up and running. It's just one pole basically, and you just fix it straight into the ground. Coffee ready to go. Got some porridge with me today. Got a few raisins and yeah, little apricot slices. Some bastards. Nah. 
Oh, that's all up here. It's amazing what you learn from watching other people's YouTube show channels, isn't it? So I've bought a few things from watching other people's content. This table, look at that, it's just one pole sticking in the ground. Learned that from Andy's Adventures. I'll stick a link in the corner. So I'm going out with that. Watch loads of windshield videos. It's brilliant for windy locations like this. Today it's not windy at all, but that's going to come in really useful. It's not a full English, but it's good. The uh, path Kinder Scout just goes around there and all the way up to there. There's some uh, strange formations on top of the mountainside there. If my feet were so achy, I would have gone up there, but not today. It's a shame to see to leave this place. Look at that, it's amazing. But it is a properly cleared now as well. I thought it was gonna stay up here cloudy all day, but there we go, it's gone. All packed away, shorts are back on, <laughs> plasters are on, I've got blister on each foot. It's time to go. So I can't remember if I showed you the route already, but I'm gonna do it again anyway. So I'm gonna be going all the way through it down to Edale, up that next hill, which is Mamnick, up the road to Mam Tor at the top, and then there's kind of a, a, a trail that runs all the way across the top. Hopefully it's not too vertical, because I'm, I'm not, don't really like heights, <laughs> uh, funnily enough. And then it kind of drops down somewhere near Thornhill, somewhere over that way eventually anyway. And then to Yorkshire Bridge, and then joining, uh, well, there's another trail brings you out to Lady Bower. And, uh, that's where I've parked the car. So that's today's route, it's 23 kilometers versus yesterday's 23 miles, so. What a coincidence, eh? God, my feet ache. So what's uh, 23 kilometers? 15 miles, something like that. Too busy watching where I'm going, not enjoying the view. It's just spectacular. I'd love to say this is actually easier to descend than it is to uh, go up, but not really. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel, you can find me over on buymeacoffee.com uh, I've got a link down in the description to my profile on there um, Maybe I'll up to date actually because you can actually buy me Apart from a coffee kind of cycle related stuff like a virtual inner tube or a virtual uh, Bacon roll I think it is <laughs> Also up to uh, add some hiking ones in there as well. Any ideas? Stick them down in the comments below <laughs> Right better turn you off and concentrate on what I'm doing I didn't film in my last video, but I did stop in Edo at the Nags Head, uh, grabbed a pint and filled up my water bottles because I was absolutely, well, I was out of water for starters and I was like, ah. <laughs> uh, that's what I'll be doing when I get to Edo, I think. Fill my water bottles up again because I've got like quarter one left and that's about it. But it's not that too far, it's probably a couple miles from here. How are you? How are you? It was crap the first time you said it. I can tell you on many of my videos, these animals are so rude. I wonder if you can get a chamois pad for hiking. I'm chafing so bad. <laughs> Just thinking about how I, what I could have done differently this trip. And one of those, which I mentioned in my previous video, is the Wahoo. I've got on the back of the bag. Could have done with being on the arm here, zip tied on. Or why did I just bring my phone? Well, why, I've got my phone, obviously, but why didn't I just use uh, my phone to record it? I'm right with GPS. Just downloaded the maps uh, offline, kind of thing, so I've got them with 
with me that would have probably sufficed as well and I just go in my pocket grab my phone there it is problem with the phone recording is it wears the battery down on your phone and uh, batteries don't last long do they have said that I've got a really good power pack so that's no excuse is it I shall travel light Richard <laughs> Oh, just pause for a moment. I'm here on the campsite. Uh, oh, we're jam cycling. George and Jess, if you ever watch their channel, can't see them about though, so I'm um, knocked on the door. Kind of a impulsive, really. I thought, oh, I'm in the area. Why not come by and say hello? But uh, yeah, not about. And look at this. Looks like they've got a hot tub underneath there. Wow. Yeah, definitely a hot tub. <laughs> I'll walk back to the house, see if they're about anyway. I have definitely got the right place. No Shad McQueen for me. <laughs> I'll just rag him. Turns out he's playing golf. Just about to tee off. <laughs> Bummer. Anyway, a quick look around the campsite there. Really quick look. So it looks really good. It's... No wonder he's uh, not been on YouTube much. He's, been, he's had his uh, work cut out. As you can probably tell, I'm now climbing a hill. And this one is Mamnik. Get to the top. Have a rest. The rest of these weary legs. It's not the legs, to be honest. It's not the heart. It's the soles of my feet. And now my groin as well. <sighs> Bramble time again. Oh, look at all these berries. God. Oh. Oh, I could fill up loads of her. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, wasp. <laughs> Looking down from Namrick over towards Edale, over there, and right on top of the highest peak, I don't know why you can see on camera, that's Kinder Scout with Jacob's ladder leading up to it. It's not actually that far away. Four miles? It's taking a long time to get to, to where I'm right now. Making my way up Mamatool. I think another thing I'd probably do differently this next time around as well is uh, I'd probably bring my water bladder with me. I've got a two litre bladder. I know that will fit quite neatly in the uh, rucksack. Time for a spot of tea. <laughs> Coming off Mam Tour now, I've just had the realization that I've done 11 kilometers, still 10 to go, and my calves <laughs> can hardly carry me own weight. Somehow I'm managing it. Check out that view though, isn't that magnificent? So I'm heading down to Hope now, and I've stopped somewhere to eat. I think Hope is the one where the uh, the escape or escape adventure place, what's that called? Yes, yes, you're going the right way, it's Cafe Adventure down the bottom of the hill, just on the left. Cheers, mate. Hello. I'm sorry, you don't want to be on camera. No, you're not paying royalties. Okay, okay then. I might hear the trudging of feet as we go uphill. Barely lift my feet up. <laughs> it's probably about three miles to go, I think. Born Hill, just up here. I'm ready to just stop. I've already had someone comment on my walking. <sighs> God, you look like you've had a hard day. Certainly have. Oh, it's the longest four miles back from Hope ever. Legs are knackered. So I'm dancing. <laughs> been limping for like seven kilometers or something now it's got a bit of house music going on in the ears but it's helping to pass the time <laughs> must look a right idiot I keep stopping there when somebody comes past and going and then back again <laughs> oh. 
I've never had to limp home before. Finally, 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 come to the very last bit of today's hike. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you've got any comments, do stick them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe against this video as well. It's great to see so many people subscribing over the last few weeks. Hope you're continuing to enjoy it. Hope you've enjoyed the agony I've been through on this particular video. <laughs> Hey, I can see my car. Oh, I've never been so pleased in my life. I'll see you sometime soon. Take care. Bye-bye.